He is a ballet legend who seems to defy the passage of time. At the age of one hundred and a half, as he likes to say, Henry Danton is still teaching new generations of dancers. Oh, that's marvellous. Who do I thank? But the award he collected at the Royal Academy of Dance today was for a performance he gave when he was just starting his career. That's wonderful. Look at it. <laughs> I had to wait a long time for it. <laughs> the reason young Henry was denied the medal he won, it was 1942, there was a war on. So this is what he was told. You will be awarded the medal when metal is available because uh, silver was being used for the war effort. And there was, uh, there was none available. So you've had to wait until now? Yes, yeah, a long time. <laughs> a long time that Henry filled with a stage career that saw him perform with the world's leading ballerinas. He still teaches dancing in America where he lives now and puts his longevity down to becoming a vegetarian 50 years ago. The time I did it, you know, you were, you were a crank if you were a vegetarian at that time. There was a vegetarian restaurant here in London, that, the only one, and it was called Cranks, because they thought the vegetarians were cranks. <laughs> You're a hundred years old now. Yeah. Can you see a time when you want to retire? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'd get bored, he says. So he'll be flying back to America to continue teaching with a new old medal to show his students. Paul Davis. ITV News.